Welcome everybody. This is Tom with Gold Spot Pens, and thank you for tuning in to another one of our uh, pen videos. Well, actually, this week it's not so much pens, but about journaling. And with me, I have our guest here. Please introduce yourself. Hi, everybody. I'm Jennifer Rufo from ReadyForm, uh, aka Filofax, and I'm super excited to show you our Filofax notebooks today. Uh, we have fun colors, fun patterns, uh, fun covers, and I'm excited to show you my bullet journal. Uh, please take it with a grain of salt. I'm not the most artistic in the world, but... Um... She's pretty good. <laughs> Better than me, I would say, like, in, and especially in the journaling aspect. <laughs> uh, but I'm excited to show you the different uses that our notebooks uh, can do for you. Thanks yeah, for having me. Yeah, sure, sure, absolutely. So here we have, uh, this is my personal notebook, so I'll just show you some of the features and benefits. So um, this is the orchid color. I'm a purple girl, so this is from our classic pastels collection. And uh, we have a nice elastic uh, band here that's got really pretty white piping and it matches the cover of the book. It's also nice and tight too. I've been like beating up on this for a couple months now and it still looks brand new. Um, so you can open it up lies flat which is great you can also fold the cover back a full 360 degrees which is also great so you can write in the air and not have to worry about it bending over uh, also we've got twin wire binding that's great because it's nice and small i'm a lefty so when i write in my notebook um, my hand doesn't cramp up against the binding which has happened in other notebooks yeah. <laughs> but the coolest part of this is that this is actually not just another notebook um, you can actually take the paper out and put it back in the book wherever you want, nice and easy, like so. I love this feature. I've always been very like OCD about how I write in my notebooks. Mm -hmm. And I've actually in the past have had journals that are really pretty but have the sewn binding. And I don't wanna mess it up because I hate looking at mistakes. Mm -hmm. So this is perfect for when I need to reorganize or if I do a page I don't like, I can just take it out. Or if I change my mind in the order of how my bullet journal looks, I can just, do it and not have, have to worry. Um, the other cool thing about uh, these notebooks is that they also come with uh, four dividers in them as well. So uh, one of them actually has a pocket as well. You can see that there. And we have all kinds of fun accessories and, and refill papers and all kinds of fun stuff coming out later this year. Um, in addition to that, we've recently expanded our line to include uh, different covers. We've got a really pretty marble. That's nice. Marble's like the in thing too, Tom. Like Is I've it? seen marble everywhere. And then we also have um, a line called Impressions where the cover has actually got an embossing on it. So we have okay. three new designs for that. This is purple and white, which I love. Remember, I'm a purple girl, mm -hmm. so. Um, I'm obsessed with that one. And this is called Black and White Deco. That is cool. And then uh, finally in the impressions line, we have Yellow and White, which is really cool. Like, nice. I don't know of another notebook where if you get tired of one cover, you can just switch out the paper and go to a different cover. So you can really, you know, even customize your notebook to the season or to your liking, so. I was interested about the dividers. So do those come in like the separate refill packs? Like yes. you just be able to get dividers only? Yes, in fact, I have some with me. We actually have um, right now two sets. So this goes with our classic bright line. And then we do have a set that matches our classic pastel line. Cool. And rumor has it, we may have a set coming out to match the marble line soon too um, and the cool thing too is uh, we do have a smaller size I know like bullet journal miniature is like starting to be a thing so I haven't like gone down that path yet but we do have a pocket size that would be perfect for that well that's how that's how I had started out with I used a um, I used a field notes for a while just mm -hmm. to kind of um, you know just kind of get a taste for it because i wasn't really sure if that whole system was going to work out for me or if i was going to just kind of use it as just like a a a, a, a trumped up to-do list um so what i did was i started out in a smaller format and then i quickly realized that the smaller format was just it was just unbearably just too like i had to just put too little information in there um but uh, but i could really see this being great for you know especially you somebody who's on the go mm -hmm. but let's see like what what you've already done okay. in, uh, in your in your own um notebook here and just get kind of get some ideas as far as like what's capable of the of the file of facts notebook okay so this is an awesome spread of 
washi tape, which I know is a big thing with, especially with journaling. Yes. Um, so so th these are like little samples, I guess, of, of each of the washi tapes that you have? Yeah, so um, the inspiration behind this was I kind of wanted to have an easily accessible um, way to view my collection of washi tape. I'm very uh, collection oriented with things. This is my more like fantasy type washi tape unicorn my daughter would love that she's <laughs> huge on unicorns right now yes they're they're a big trend right now but i i liked them before they were cool okay i can't do all that stuff but it but it really isn't necessarily about that it's about like making it work for you and you're definitely making it work for what you <laughs> for what you're doing it for thank you thank you and you know i'm big on quotes too and you know, I like incorporating that and in fun little details. And like on this page here, you can see, oh, the places you'll go. That's yeah. a Dr. Seuss quote. So talking about quotes, um, like I said, I'm big on quotes. So I wanted to do a page that was about motivational quotes and quotes that I could fill in as I go. Um, you can see some are on there from like Walt Disney. You could probably tell I'm a Disney fan. Um, Dolly Parton. This is a birthday tracker. Um, and just as an FYI too, I did do this freehand. Um, you can see in the paper that it's dots. So we do a dot refill paper with our notebooks. And one of the cool things too that I've kind of seen as I've gotten more into this is that sometimes people can't make up their minds if they want to do a journal with bullet paper or just regular ruled paper or maybe a sketchbook of unruled paper, even quad ruled paper. Well, we offer all of them as refills for the notebook. Yeah, so you're able to customize and throw in, especially with the rearrangeable pages, you could throw in the blank and the exactly. rules and, you know, whatever, whatever suits the need. So now that you know all my friends and family's birthdays, we'll change the page there. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is a movie tracker page. You can see I haven't gotten out much this year and I've only seen one movie. Um, but again, this is freehand. So this is just drawing in between the dots. Is there a ruler attachment? I'm glad you yeah. brought that up, Tom. Yes. Yeah, I'm good at this. Segue, we do so. have a ruler in here as well. This is so handy because um, I can't tell you how many times I've been like out at a store or something and I need to take a measurement or I'm maybe bullet journaling on the go and I'm trying to draw something. I can just take this out and use it. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of movies because I've been busy watching Netflix, as you can see. <laughs> Here's the shows that I watch. You can see how much of a nerd I am. And then on the back, I've got my Marvel shows. This page over here is supposed to be a bookcase that I made out of washi tape. Mm -hmm. And um, I've only read one book this year. Again, I've been busy, sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> so hopefully I'll be able to fill this out a little bit more as I go throughout the year. So this is, this is a Disney Animation Studios tracker. So these are all the movies that have come out from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs mm -hmm. up to Moana. Have you watched all of these movies or, or is maybe like the, the, are the little symbols like the ones that you have watched? Like oh, you, good eye, yes. I'm picking up on these things. Yes, yeah, so the little Mickey heads that are filled in prior right. to the movie title is the ones that I have seen. So I've seen most of them. The Disney actual like um, handwriting or calligraphy um, I did freehand. So this page is inspired by fortune cookies. Um, I love Chinese food and I never know what to do with the fortunes that I mm. get. So this is a page that's, I guess you could call it a work in progress. Um, as I get more fortunes, I'll tape them into the page. This one I like, I just got recently. Many will travel to hear you speak. So uh, I'm guessing that that's probably this experience today. Okay, so part of bullet journaling is including things that you like. Yes. And I love Bon Jovi. My mom and I are huge fans. We're going to the concert in Philly coming up on May 3rd. So um, I drew this. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with this page yet, um, but I figured I'd just throw it in there and it see what awesome. happens. It looks awesome. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm also big on Zentangle, um, which is another like, doodle type of relaxation uh, method where you take little patterns and put them together for like a bigger like tile and pattern. I wanted to do uh, somewhat like a reference of the different Zentangle patterns that are out there. So right. if I get inspired on the go, I can just reference this page. Um, this particular page is paper meat flares. I've got all 32. Um, uh, this is this jelly rolls. Oh, nice. Love these. I added some washi tape for some flair. And um, one of the things too I wanted to point out with washi tape is mm -hmm. it's great if you make a mistake. Like you probably can't tell that I actually made a mistake on this page. So I just covered it up in washi tape. I wanted to just showcase this, this real fast. Um, on this page, again, you can see it's an unrolled page. So 
I do like the fact that I can turn this into a sketchbook as I wish. And um, I actually drew this with a watercolor colored pencil and then went over it with the Tombow Colorless Blender. And uh, going back to just playing with more different like types of pens and things, um, Pentel's coming out with new pens. Uh, they're bringing back the Milky Pen and they have a line called Solar Pop and then the Sparkle Pop. Out of the three, I'm a, most obsessed with the Sparkle Pop. I like the Sparkle Pop. You can see that it uh, pops off the page, which I absolutely love. And here we are to my Tombow tracker. Uh, again, going back to my OCD and the need to have complete collections. Um, I'm almost there with the Tombows. I know there's like 96 total pens in that collection. It works really well with the paper in our in our uh, notebooks as well. Like you can't really see that I've done it on yeah, the, the, uh, the other page. side doesn't I mean it, it has a little bit of ghosting on it but like it's not especially looking at this side because I mean this uh, this side here is their their lighter uh, yeah. colors but the other side is as we were looking at before are definitely much more saturated and darker so but they you know you could hardly see that they're there on this side I mean, you could definitely use this side of the page still exactly exactly and um, this is just a test of me uh, playing with the Tombos um, I just did this in an hour or so on the couch one night while watching TV. I wanted to try like a color gradient. I don't know how successful I was oh, this is with awesome. it. But I love it. All it is is just taking the one tip of the Tombow and just going over and, you know, almost looks like a rainbow effect in a sense. So um, it was very relaxing. You know, it's it not only is it does it look good, but it reminded you of a time when you were just completely relaxed yes. and you were just enjoying yourself. And that's kind of like part of the like the welcoming feeling of like of like having a journal like this. And then finally, um, this was a, a design that I found online that I tried to incorporate in my own way. Um, this is using the Tombow brush markers again, um, in addition to for the Sparkle Pop, the Pentel pen that I had. Cool. And then um, I also used a watercolor colored pencil and the Tombow Colorless Blender to go through it and get that watery effect. Yeah, so, you know, that's just some of the pages in my bullet journal. Um, you know, I really feel like the opportunities are and possibilities are endless with it, especially with, with us, with all the refills that we offer, all the different cover options. We even have metallics, rose gold, silver gold, all kinds of fun things, which I know Gold Spot has uh, on your website. Yep. And uh, everything is in stock, and, you know, it's, it's great, and it's fun, and you're not confined to... A typical sewn bound book so um solves all my problems i want to like sh show a few things that i do because I, I know a lot of our viewers a lot of our fans um enjoy using fountain pens which yes. uh, which of course is like you know there, there's definitely there's a huge place for like where you what you're going at with all the gel pens and yes and and your uh the pentels the tombos and everything like that but a lot of people use like you know strictly with fountain pens because of the same reasons so you know there's a virtually limitless amount of colors uh nib sizes allow you to uh do a lot of different things yes. with it um so i just wanted to you know yeah, quickly talk about show you show you what um you know some of the things that i've done okay so one of the things that um i i do occasionally in in my bullet bullet journal is to um do a tracker so i did um have a tracker and i did it in the kind of like a vertical and horizontal but it's kind of more you know horizontal this way here so the uh so i was tracking our social media uh growth month to month and just recording down the numbers and then seeing like the Ill increase over time and uh you know kind of goofing up and this is where washi tape would have probably came in <laughs> handy um was kind of goofing up on the i didn't want them to be spaced so close together but like what i what i'll do is with mine is like i will use specifically fountain pens and in this case i think i used a um a secura uh, Pigma Micron for most uh, of it, yes. but then like I'll usually pick whatever fountain pen that I have the smallest tip on So it's whether fine or extra fine and then I'll kind of continue from there What I do is like I'll throw in the back of my um, In the back of my journal. I will throw a list of currently inked pens I love this. You're just like me with lists and the inks That's and everything so let, me, <laughs> let me go from this end over here Okay, so Ooh. So like I will go. It depends. Like usually on like brand or um, you know different color families, but usually it's by brand. And I'll go through and, and put all the different 
uh, colors. I've seen it too where people have done a spread of like color gradients where, where it's like across different brands too. At some point I'd love to do that as well just to kind of mm -hmm. get the full like gradient effect of all the different color options that are out there. So this is like an example of, uh, of what a, a month would look like. Oh, that's fun. So like I would do like a little fun header and, I, and the reason why I show this is because obviously yours is like way more like artistic than mine is. And your handwriting is impeccable by Thank the you. way. I'm very jealous. <laughs> I feel like when I have a nice pen in my hand too, I just, I, I think I write slower. I retain yeah. more as I write because I, I like the process of watching it, I guess, put ink to paper. So that's the, that's the, the Leutsch term. And, uh, and I, I had switched this year to doing the, the Rhodia Gold Book um, because I just, you know, wanted something a little bit of a change and, uh, and these were relatively new. Uh, we had, this had just come out last year and it was primarily made for uh, bullet journaling. Um, they also do the same thing with like the table of contents. Um, and it's more, it, it's it's like a, a larger type of ruling on there. So I got that going on. The, um, so so this I've got here is kind of like the same, a similar type of uh, tracker and like book thing that um, that was kind of referring to in the other oh, journal. I like your start and finish, that's cool. Yeah, like, uh, I have a goal, my personal goal is to do 30 books in the whole entire year, and this is going to be the way that I've got to be able to rein that goal in. Um, and then of course I do have a, a currently inked in this one as well, <laughs> so I just wanted to show you that. So I have like some of the inks that I've been using, and I find with this paper it's a lot smoother than the Leutsch term is. One of the other features I really liked about the uh, goal book was the perpetual calendar. So it's not necessarily based on a whole entire year. So it's not dated with the days of the week involved. So it's just it's just dated with the. So you could pick this up at any point during this year, next year, whatever, and it's not going to be um, specific to the particular year. You have on yours a, a perpetual calendar. I do. Or you have so, a, is it dated with the? So like, we specific actually year? do a um, a couple of dated refills for our Filofax. And um, they're newer too. They've just come out, I think, it was last year okay. um, for 2018. So this is actually a year planner that you can just pull out. And you know, if you want your calendar part separate, then you can put it behind or in front of a divider as well. Um, here's my divider with the pocket. Cool. And then we do offer like a monthly refill as well. And again, all of this can come out and get put back in. And um, they also have tabs. So if you don't want to waste your washi on making tabs, right. uh, we do it for you. Um, we have this in the A5 size, which is what you can see here. And then we also have it as a refill for the pocket size. Cool. So. All right, so we, uh, we could take a look at also too. So we have some of the styles that we've you know, looked at physically here, but there's a, there's a bunch of styles that are in this uh, catalog that's here. And, and is mostly everything out right now, or is it um, yeah, going to so, be coming out in the future? So uh, everything that you see here on this page, um, we'll start with our classic Brights collection. They are all available now. The newest color was Pear that came out, I guess, about two years ago. Okay. Um, really pretty if you like greens. Um, classic Pastel is a newer line. Um, all four of the A5 sizes are available now, um, as well as the Pocket. Lemon is our newest color. Uh, we also have uh, our impressions line, uh, the ones that are embossed. So you saw our, our three uh, new patterns that aren't in this flyer yet, but our mm -hmm. black and white deco is new, our purple and white is new, and our yellow and white is new. Um, they are offered in both A5 and pocket size. We do have four additional covers as well. Our patterns line, if you like a little more pizzazz to your cover, um, this is where our new marble notebook falls under. We have a Safiano, which is available as just an A5. Uh, we've got our Safiano Metallics, which you can see is gold, rose gold, and silver. Yeah, move that up a little bit there. There we go. And I've got uh, two of those here, actually. Here's the rose gold, which I've seen some fountain pens match this, by the way. Yes. The, the, <laughs> the... There's, there's certain ones that yes. match it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Silver's our newest one that we just came out with. Mm -hmm. And again, it's available to order now. And we also have another new line that just came out called Safiano Floro. Uh, and I have the yellow gray one here. And if you open it up, you can actually see that it's like neon on the inside. So oh, that's okay. pretty cool. 
And just to point out too, our classic brights line actually has a total of four sizes. This is the only line that has four sizes beyond the A5 in the pocket, right. and that's executive and letter. Um, you can get all four refills for all four sizes. Um, so if you maybe want something a little bit bigger than an A5 size, you can look to the executive and the letter. Um, and you can see price points over here as well. All of our uh, pockets that are not the impressions line retail for $13.95. The A5 size in all but impressions retails for only $18.95. The impressions is uh, slightly more only because there's more to the manufacturing process because it is embossed. Mm -hmm. So the pocket size for that is only $17.95, whereas the A5 is $23.95, but it's really cool. So here's a preview page of some of the things that we have coming out. Um, you can see our typical refills up here. What they retail for is $3.99 for the pocket, $4.99 for A5. That's across all the different designs, uh, ruled, dot ruled, unruled. And then coming out in, I think it's end of May, June, we have for pocket and A5, colored refills. Uh, and then we have um, also included colors that match the Safiano line, which we had uh, seen, as well as a refill coming out, refill paper for the marble, which I can't wait to see that. that yeah, that looks, looks like really nice, like stationary quality. And So down here we've got our dated refills that are available, as I had said before, in both pocket and A5, monthly and yearly. And then continuing the accessories conversation, we also do a pen holder that you can insert right into your notebook as well. Here's one in A5. What I like about this too is that it includes a pocket, an additional right. pocket in addition to the one that has uh, the divider in the notebook already. Um, and you can get these pens in um, different colors as well. If purple's not your thing, then you could do orange or green. <laughs> and it comes with the pen too, so it's an extra exactly. You know, bonus exactly. on there. And then finally, I know there are, in the bullet journal community, there's a lot of people that like to do their own printables mm -hmm. and make their own um, inserts. Well, we do offer a paper punch just for that. So if you have your own collection of printables, you love the file effects notebook and you want to incorporate them together, all you have to do is get the paper punch, punch it up, put it on in, and you're you're off to the races. So we, you know, we took a look at a lot of stuff uh, with file effects and even some things with uh, with Rudy and uh, Lloyd's term and everything and uh, you know it's it's just it's really cool to be able to just take a look and, and see the different you know capabilities that you'd have with uh, being able to journal and it's not just limited to composition notebooks like I had grown up with or like your cheap uh, you know the type of notebooks I even say this like even like if if I were in college still like this is going way back I really wish that these were around back then the fact that you could like use it for so many different purposes and then uh, be able to adopt it to your own methods and make it work for you is like really what the the, the big thing about this is there's nothing like putting pen to paper nothing. yeah we took a look at a lot of file effects notebooks and we took a look at the system that file effects employs the removable pages the different inserts uh, the the paper itself which actually handles uh, you know a variety of different types of pens and inks very well um, so it's a great like mixed media type of uh, notebook that you could throw pretty much anything that you want at it. Um, and we also took a look at a few other alternatives too that we have on, on goldspot.com, uh, um, of which we have everything available. Thank you so much, Jennifer, for coming and joining us and showing us your, oh, sure. your journal of, of very personal things. Thanks so much for um, having me and letting me ramble. I appreciate you guys uh, coming and checking out the video. If you have any comments or any uh, suggestions, anything that... Um, uh, you know really helps you with your journaling or if you find uh, anything here that's helpful uh, Please let us know in the comments, um, you know, feel free to subscribe to our channel. Have a great day and stay inky my friends <laughs>